do this. I get excited to talk to you and then like I realize I haven't had a coffee yet and I cannot speak. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to our community. If you're new, I'm Jen. I focus on all things health, wellness, self-care, while living in New York City, so I have a lot of vlogs on here as well. Mm. If you watch Jen M, I have this weird thing where I really pick up on people's like repetitive commentary that is so not the way to say it, but like, you know when people just say the same things all the time? So I love Jen M, I love watching her videos. Every time she eats, she takes a bite and she goes, mmm, and it is the cutest thing ever. And now every time I say, mmm, I think of her. So I just did my morning routine. It is a Friday, so it is a work day. I work full-time in PR, if you are new here, and part-time, I have a podcast, I have this YouTube channel. I actually have a lot of changes going on as well. My whole schedule and structure is gonna change soon, so stay tuned for updates on that. It is 8 a.m. I just did my morning routine some kundalini breath work, I have my coffee, and I'm uploading today's upload. So I'm trying to get that up right now, and I'm gonna, while I, you know, type in the description everything, catch up on some YouTube, drink my coffee, and I got up early today because I had a very good sleep thanks to my new Mindset Wellness CBD. I'm like obsessed with them. They are actually sponsoring an upcoming video, so I got a bunch of goodies, and they have like a happy mindset, a focus mindset, a rest mindset, a calm mindset. They have gummies, they have oils, like something for everyone, and it's all organic and all natural, and it sounds like they're sponsoring this video, but they're not. I'm just like newly obsessed, and I feel so well rested, and I really think that's why. So, since I got up pretty early, like right at seven on the dot, I'm going to hopefully be able to work out before we do PR for the day. I will catch you in a bit. We're just gonna watch some YouTube, upload some YouTube. It's a YouTube morning. Sometimes when I get super inspired when I find someone on Instagram, I just like pitch them to be on my podcast. That's sort of how I do it. I don't like set aside time to pitch. I just end up like going down a rabbit hole on Instagram and I find people and I DM them. And all of a sudden like my, my booking schedule is booked up. Like it's not, it's really not a hard lift. People love to talk about themselves like, People are happy to come in your podcast. So if you are thinking of starting a podcast, I don't know how I got on this rant, but if you're thinking of starting a podcast, you should, and you're like worried you're not gonna be able to get guests. First of all, I will be your first guest. If you need someone, DM me. We are doing Mad Fit. I feel very tight. I feel like I've been on the couch a lot, like editing and stuff, and I just get in pain, like I have actual back pain. So we're gonna start with the Mad Fit 15 minute stretch. She also has 15 minute toned arms, no equipment, so maybe I'll do that midday too. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. to shower but it's fine because I didn't really sweat I just did like strength training no jumping or anything like that for 15 minutes and I did it too late so now it's 10 a.m. and I've been sitting here working for like 30 minutes so much to do so much to pitch out to press so many documents to get in place like the press release there's just a lot going on so it is a very busy time and it's already 10 and I'm honestly starving but I feel like let me know in the comments if you ever feel this way just like there's so much to do that I feel like I can't go eat because it's gonna waste like 25 minutes because I have to make something from scratch. Unless I eat yogurt, I could just eat yogurt, but still. I hate that. I hate working in such a fast paced environment that you feel like you can't shower or eat. Like just some days it can get super crazy because when you work at an agency, you're working on four plus clients at a time and all of your teams, if you're working at a big agency, are made up of different people. So it's not like everyone's in the loop on your workload. You have to be really vocal about it. So working at a PR agency is really crazy, but if it's like, but if you thrive in fast paced environments and enjoy the hustle, then it's amazing. That is what I'm doing. I'm just chugging along here. Soon we'll eat, but. I'll be long, I'll be long Okay, I added in 
mashed banana, an egg white, chia seeds, and flax seeds. And I'm doing steel cut oats these days because I think it tastes so much better. You have to let it sit for 30 minutes so it's a little annoying when you're starving. In the meantime, I cut up some kiwi, some raspberries, we got walnuts, we got peanut butter. We're gonna have a nice oatmeal. I'm just working and then every few minutes I go and stir the oatmeal and that's what we're doing. The lighting is... Why am I blue? Why am I an avatar? This is weird, I gotta go. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Friday. Something that I'm focusing on is I have to do weekly recaps, like status reports for every single client. I am responsible for drafting it all up, everything we did this week, all the press coverage from the week. So Fridays are crazy for me. I know for most people it's pretty chill. And if I didn't have these status reports, my Fridays are crazy. I go through all the emails from the week and everything and it's just like a lot. That is what I'm doing now. I moved over to the couch. I brought my my chair back cushion thing over to the couch so I could watch YouTube while I do this. That is what we're doing on the PR side right now. And that oatmeal was damn good. Check in with you guys in a bit. Still sitting here working. That's why I don't really vlog on work days, but my schedule is about to change a bunch. I think I'm gonna, which I will share probably most likely on my podcast first. So subscribe to Dare to Self Care podcast if you're not already. That's where you'll get like all my life updates and I bring in wellness experts, entrepreneurs, and like really awesome people, YouTubers on there and, and have a deep conversation. It's more deep conversation than like interview. Anywho, I just realized I need to get a quote up on the Instagram for my solo episode this week. And I'm also doing a lot of work for PR. So because I didn't make it easier for myself and write down quotes as I was editing, I now have to re-listen to my own podcast, which sucks, but I'm just gonna like scroll to the middle and see if I can grab a quote real quick, drop it into the graphic and we'll be on our way. When someone triggers you, one thing you can do is journal on why that triggers you, so. Okay, this is life working at an agency. I, I really need a break and I wanna do a stretch, but I also have, I'm a part of Natalie Barbu's Patreon channel and she's live right now. So I'm literally gonna do Mad Fit Stretch on mute while listening to Natalie's live stream. And this is called multitasking people, getting your breaks in where you can. Well, this is the live stream. The Patreon is exactly what I wanna do for Rella, so I'm just gonna make it free. five minutes of that stretch because I just feel like I have so much work to do. I wanna watch this Patreon, there's so much going on. So I'm gonna move over back to the desk. This is my exciting work day. We had the couch for a little, now we go to the desk. I'm going to take some happy CBD drops. This company, Mindset Wellness CBD, is sponsoring an upcoming video, which will be my sleep routine, so stay tuned for that. But they have like different mindsets. So I have the happy CBD drops, and sometimes when I'm like overwhelmed at work, I almost prefer happy than the calm ones, because I just like need a mood booster. That's that, we're gonna move to the desk. Continue to work. Okay, it's 40 degrees this morning, and it's going to get to 60 degrees, so my goal is to, in the afternoon, when it's that 60 degree peak, to get outside and walk. Literally all I do in every vlog for meals is make breakfast food. I make eggs, I make oatmeal, like I don't eat lunch food really. I like, literally only eat breakfast food until dinner time. Cause I like to only eat warm foods, cold foods and raw foods just like mess with my stomach. Gonna watch some YouTube, eat some of these eggs. And then I usually go back to make Ezekiel toast after. I like to make it all last. 
You have missed nothing but everything. As in, you missed me sitting in my desk all day long on meetings, just like working. But now we're gonna go for a walk. It is 5.30, but it's 60 degrees out, finally. It was like 40s earlier. So we're gonna go for a walk, get the blood flowing, get things moving. I have not left my apartment all day. This is not okay. Let's go for a nice walk on the water. I hope it takes me like an hour, I really do. Like I love when I can get a long, long walk in and listen to a long podcast. Like that is my form of self care. I need to do it, I've been trapped here, okay. To clean my kitchen and shower and make dinner. It's already eight o'clock. Fridays are brutal for me at work. Let me know if you guys like these videos. I usually do not vlog during the week because I am working like 11 hour days and I just feel like I can't even talk to you all day. So let me know if you liked this. I feel like it's boring, but I know that like I love watching other people's boring vlogs. Like I almost don't want them to go out and do things. So let me know your thoughts. Soon my whole schedule is gonna be changing. I'll be out and about more. I'm gonna start working at Rumble. So lots of changes coming and my vlog should be a bit more exciting, but I don't know. Sometimes it's just relaxing, like watching people do nothing. <laughs> if you made it this far into the video, you have to subscribe so we can keep hanging out because if you were entertained by this, then I think my channel is definitely for you. Give this video a thumbs up, please. It helps the algorithm, it helps people find our amazing community, and I will see you guys next week. Stay safe and wear a mask.